As we go into spring, it's a good time to think about your processing procedures and treatment plans related to those. Uh, one thing that we're taking a close look here at Oklahoma State is anthelminic, which is a fancy name for dewormers and the potential resistance that is developing in our internal parasite populations. We had some preliminary studies with a group at the College of Veterinary Medicine and those indicated a uh, very small study but indicated there's apparent resistance across the state of Oklahoma in our cow herds. So based on that information we are working to get a bigger population and take a look at various types of cattle whether parasite resistance is is apparent there as well and so we encourage producers across the state as you think about uh, your deworming protocols into the spring what this research study involves is cooperating with your local extension educator and we take two sets of samples. Fecal samples are then sent to the laboratory and uh, you use the regular product. There's no cost to the laboratory testing. They're evaluated at the laboratory and then we come back and take another set of samples about two weeks later after deworming to see have the products you've been using be effective. So not only for the pharmaceutical stewardship of dewormers. We want to keep these products on our shelves as long as possible doing the job that they're supposed to be doing, but it also can impact your bottom line. It may give you information in cooperation with your veterinarian to more effectively and efficiently, including cost, be able to treat your herd. So for those producers that have questions about deworming in their herd, we encourage you to visit with your veterinarian and or your local extension educator.